Like many young Russians, Anastasia Panchenko's political awakening came from Alexei Navalny, the Russian opposition figure. But in the vacuum since his death, she, like other Russian activists abroad, has begun to look to Navalny's widow, Yulia, to take on his mantle. Panchenko has been laying flowers at a Navalny memorial in the Georgian capital, Tbilisi, since Navalny's death was announced last Friday. She's lived in Tbilisi since fleeing Russia three years ago. She was once a journalist for a pro-Kremlin news outlet who quit her job and began working for Navalny's campaign after protests erupted in 2017. He turned my life on its head. He changed a lot within me, but the main thing he taught me was love and empathy for people. I want people all over the world to understand that Russians aren't the enemies of the world. Just like people across the world, we hate Putin, his dictatorship and his gang. Yulia Navalnya has promised to continue her husband's work and is urging Russians to share her rage at Russian President Vladimir Putin. The Kremlin denies involvement in Navalny's death, which it says is under investigation. Yulia Navalnaya is our new hope. She has taken upon herself all of Alexei Navalny's political capital. I think she's the lawful, legitimate leader of the opposition. We very much support her and think that if there were real elections right now, Yulia Navalnaya would become president of Russia. Navalnya has not yet set out her plan for Russia's opposition, most of whom are in prison or abroad. She would risk being arrested if she returned to her home country, much like her husband, whose last day of freedom was the day he returned to Russia in January 2021, after recovering in Germany from a Novichok poisoning attempt in Siberia. After Navalny was jailed in 2021, his network was banned as extremist and most of his staffers, including Kochkin and Panchenko, fled Russia and moved to Georgia, which lets Russians stay indefinitely without a visa. Semyon Kochkin is one of them, a former Navalny campaign manager now also living in Tbilisi. He says Yulia's task ahead is daunting, especially from exile and admits Navalny's death has left him at a loss. We always thought of Alexei as the person who'd tell us what to do. He'd make the plan and we'd carry it out. Now there's no one who's going to make that plan for us. We need to start doing it for ourselves. Panchenko says she's focused on organizing legal support for those arrested in her native Krasnodar region for commemorating Navalny's death. But while she looks now to Yulia Navalny, she is bereft at the death of her political idol. It's an irreplaceable loss. Alexei Navalny's name will be on people's mouths for a long time to come because it's impossible to replace him.